Hi folks, welcome back. Yes, I know we did just do this last week, but there's good reason. Last weekend was New York Comic Con, and if you know anything about Vash, you know where he was. I'm going to throw up some photos right now of him in costume with a bunch of people that he actually made all the costumes of. Did an amazing job. I went with him one day, and it was a whole lot of fun. However, I haven't heard from him for a couple of days, and I don't know where he is, so we haven't filmed anything. But I promised you guys two videos a week, and so, well, I had to go back into our vault and find some stuff to show to you. Today I decided to bring you three kind of extended clips of Vash yelling at me for different reasons. The first one here is from Gravity. He had a question about the opening credits. And I tried to answer him and somehow still got yelled at. This movie is interesting to me because I don't know what to say about the movie. There are only two people in this whole movie! There's only two people, there's only two characters labeled um, in the credits. Like the George Clooney and Sandra Bullock, that's and, uh, it. But it's in the what credits. about the other guy? You, you saw, he had one line. Yeah. He got one line. They didn't put his name in the credits at all. Not in the opening, in the closing credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the voice of all those things. I was just think, if there's, only, there's, like, there's only three people in the whole movie. You can't put a name there. No, I mean, because It's not they like only, you have ten people. Because there's like, only oh, two people. There's I only two main characters. Are you going to talk? Are you going to talk? I, I'm trying to ask you a you, question. But you, you just asked answer. a question you and question I answered is. it. What's the question? You said if there are only if there's only be three people, can't you put his name in there? Right. And I but answered that I'm, question. I'm giving you a follow-up some follow up information to help well, you along with the Well, let me ask the first one because I already answered the question. You can't answer it until I give you the follow-up. Okay, what's your follow-up, Ben? The follow-up is if there was like 20 people in the movie and like, well, you know, we can't put all 20. It's, it's really about these two. Mm -hmm. I would be like, okay, you know, it's about those two. But it's like, it's about these two. It's just... Like you've got room. No. You could you could totally put that person. By the in way, there. your follow up wasn't a question. Your follow up was your position on the question. Like a debate. But you didn't that wasn't the the question was Justin, do you think they needed his No, name I'm asking, credits? do you like a debate? <laughs> This that made no just, sense. <laughs> just, no, nothing makes sense right now. I don't know how I'm <laughs> going to edit this whole <laughs> episode. The second one is from Captain Phillips. We shot a few days early because of New York Comic Con, and Vash brought over a drink to be a good friend, and then immediately turned it on me. Do you want to drink the Coke Zero so you feel good about yourself? No, I'm actually going to pour it out on my way to the train. <laughs> just to prove a point. I went and let me tell you something. So, the audience who, oh, everybody thinks I'm the bad guy, I'm going to tell you how Just is the bad guy. So, I'm running over here at the crack of dawn just because I want to film this Wait, with, with Justin. Why are you coming over the crack of dawn? By the way, crack of dawn being 10 a.m. So, can I get back to my story about complaining about you? Feel free to get your story about complaining about me. How dare you turn around and make me look like the bad guy again? You're the bad guy. I didn't. I, you literally just said, can I get back to my story about complaining? I went out of my way this morning to stop and get this guy a Coke Zero, because I know he likes to drink Coke Zero. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? He didn't ask for one. I'm going to bring him one as a show of good faith. Like, hey, look, buddy, I thought about you today. And um, I get real, here. Real quick, little, little caveat. Did you go out of your way, or was it in the same store you bought yourself the Red Bull? <laughs> it was in a different... Um, I had to go further into the store to the refrigerator that had the Coke Was it Zero. the one right by the subway here? Yes. The one where the Coke Zeros are actually closer to the door than the Red Bulls are? I know, because I go there every day almost. I went out of my way to get this guy a Coke Zero, and I brought it over here, and with a big smile on my face, I was about to pull out, and I saw that Justin had snacks, and I was like, oh, good, he snacks, and he grabs a plate, and it's like, my, my precious. And I, had, like, I had my like, breakfast, literally actually. literally... Move the plate away from my reach. It's way I over did. there. Well, I moved I it out of the view of the camera. He knows I won't go over there. <laughs> it's too far. It's way too, it's like at least what? Maybe 10, 10 feet? feet away. <laughs> it's my breakfast so that I'm not eating because I'm I will I'm take filming. this Coke Zero and I won't drink it. I will pour it out. I will throw, I will spit in it and throw it in the garbage. Well, Just to prove a point. You're welcome to waste your money. I, not a problem. I wanted to show you that when the cameras aren't rolling, we still treat each other the exact same way. So this following clip was actually shot without Vash's knowledge at all. And sure enough, by the time I came back, it was like everything sold out. You saw, by the way, two things. One, you notice I put a label on the cup and it was good for like three months. How did you put the label on the cup? I don't know, there were all sorts of reasons. Look out! Side of that. That's terrible. You were the one that cut it and put it together. That's horrible. <laughs> Why would you let me do that? What did you expect? 
What were you thinking? Tell you're an thinking. adult. You're a grown ass man. No, but I want to know when you when you said to yourself, "I'm gonna print this out and give it to Vash to complete this task." You know what I? What honestly, were you thinking? Honestly, you know what I thought? Please, I can't wait to Honestly, hear this. you know what I thought? I thought, let me give him scissors and some tape. It won't be as good as mine, but I got stuff to do right now. Oh, that's that's just irresponsible of <laughs> me. It really is. I mean, honestly, honestly. Why did you trust me with anything? Let me tell you something. Nobody would in court. I would have totally won this case. They would have been like, "This is one more case of whose fault is this? This is all your fault." Like, how is this my fault? How are you gonna leave this task with me? And and, like, did you? Okay, can I ask you a question? Did you really hand this to me and then turn around in good faith as if it was gonna get done? Like, yes, no. Why would you do that? Jared was here too. We were setting everything up. That doesn't make like that doesn't even compute to me (laughs) that you. I'm like, he's got to be joking. There's no way he's serious about this. I can't believe you. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Are you mad that it came out like this? Well, Are I'm you disappointed. I'm a little sad that I'm gonna have to waste more printing ink on printing it again. Once again. Not today. I'm gonna let you sit with that crappy label for a few weeks so you can, you, you know, know, you know what? feel and, feel and, the and problems. I, I look at this and be like, this is fucked up, but I blame you. <laughs> I really do. This is. It, 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 if you called Jared over here right now, he would blame you. He'd be like, well, why did you let him do it? He was here. Did he? St- no one stopped. <laughs> Certain ones on YouTube, but like, people like Sean. I expect mine to look amazing. I'm just saying. It'll look just like this label. Which means you'll be doing it. <laughs> You're only making yourself look bad. I expect that apparently you don't do good work. That's, you know, it's what really like is amazing is that I expect this. I'm totally fine with this looking like crap because this is... You did it? Yeah, like, I would not leave me with how something would, this important. I don't I understand how you're like, oh yeah, I f***ed it up. Totally good. I'm totally fine. I, I really don't, I really don't even get how you, like, can okay. bring this up. I guess, alright. All right, guys, thank you for making it through all of that. I hope you enjoyed it. This is last week's episode. We can see Vash review a movie without having actually seen it. Here is the voting you should be doing for our franchise marathon. And then last week's cutting room floor is will be listed here as well for you. So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you on Friday.